This is the future of policing. On-body video cameras recording virtually every interaction between law enforcement and the public. I'm coming in front of you, Kevin. In this clip provided by the Taser Company, which makes cameras, Daytona Beach, Florida police shoot a suspect in a domestic dispute. We're stopping the video before the gunfire. With the police commission vote approving the policies for equipping LAPD officers with these Taser Axon cameras, as they're known, the department's a significant step closer to becoming the largest in the country to use them. The cameras must be turned on at almost all enforcement activities, like a traffic stop. Officers cannot modify recordings. They can review the video before making reports, even in cases of shootings, as long as that's authorized by investigators. And the video, as a rule, will not be released to the public or media. you got to remember, my job and my goal is, is to protect the process as it exists within the criminal justice system, and, and I try to do that. It would take... Uh, extreme circumstances to have me move beyond that protection. The whole idea of the body-worn cameras is to promote transparency, to use a word politicians and the police love these days. The LAPD thinks this new policy does that, but the department's critics say it has a long way to go. That's absolutely true. The ACLU's Peter Biebring sent a detailed letter to the commission complaining that the police spent a year and a half working on public input on a plan and rushed this through at one commission hearing. Some specific concerns, officers should not be allowed to review video before making reports, and controversial video should be made public. This is one of the most important policy changes at LAPD in the last decade, and to have the final product approved on such short notice with such little scrutiny is deeply troubling. But Police Commission President Steve Soboroff, who jump-started this whole process some two years ago by raising money to buy the first group of cameras, says he doesn't want to delay. This policy is written, you know, to me in, in pencil. It's not, it is not written, uh, it is not um, etched in marble. Because we're at the very beginning of making history in law enforcement. So by this summer, you can expect to see almost a thousand cameras. More money is needed, as always, for more cameras. Uh, they're talking about 7,000 in all. Now, there are cases when the cameras don't have to be turned on or can be turned off, say, if officers are investigating a sexual assault or rape case or if the person simply says they refuse to be on camera, don't want to talk on camera at all. So those cases would have to be documented. So a lot of eyes.